This is the video review for Transformers Cybertron Scout Class Undermine. And this is actually a pretty neat figure. I mean, he's very simple, and I wasn't expecting him to like, to like him that much. But he's actually pretty cool. In this mode, he's... Well, he's not a raptor or a T-Rex. He's some kind of... other creature with a, um... other dinosaur with a fin back here. He looks quite nice. I mean, his tail even has sort of a barbed ball of smack everything. So, I'm not quite sure what he is, but he's a technorganic dinosaur of some breed. In this mode, his neck can look up and down a little bit. His head can look up and down. His mouth can open quite wide. These little stubby arms go up and down. Legs go forward, back, out, in, bend at the knee, bend at the ankle, and bend at the second ankle since really this is a um, digit to grade leg with a knee up here and an angle down here. And really there shouldn't be a heel except that he wouldn't stand very well without it. And then the tail is quite articulate. It has a joint here, a joint here, and a joint here. Although what sucks about it is that rather than each of them being a uniform strength, each of the joints, this one is kind of weak, this one is fairly strong, and this one uh, right here is super tight. So it's hard to get the uh, tail maybe exactly how you like it, just because uh, tolerances aren't quite right. But the tail doesn't matter that much. The overall figure looks very nice, and for its size, quite imposing. I quite like this mode. To transform him is very simple. Rotate these up, pull the legs down, split the head, and pull the arms back. Rotate this down, and you are done. Now at first, I thought that these might rotate up, but they're actually in right here and right here. So, it looks like they rotate up a little bit more, so that these become more chest details than um, make him look like he has four arms, but they don't go up anymore. And this is his robot mode. He has a fairly weird looking head. I mean, like, this entire thing is his head, with two small slits for his eyes. And it doesn't pose at all. It doesn't rotate or turn or anything. And at first, I thought, eh, that doesn't look very good, but I've kind of warmed up to it. It makes him look somewhat unique. And it's a great way to deal with that back kibble. Great way to give him a head without forcing some sort of latch system to hide it. And, well, this is the kind of silly thing, but also a way to give him the mandatory Cyberplant key gimmick that Hazard was doing at the time. If you push the key into the back of his head, you get a blade that sticks out. Now, of course, if you do this when he's in dinosaur mode, this will cut his neck in half. Not literally, but... Yeah. And this this is just silly. I, I don't like Cyberplant key gimmicks. They never really impress. Now his posability is quite nice. Forward, back, out, and then this is like a combination hand and forearm. Uh, it's not as good as it could be, but for a size class, I think it works quite well. His legs are very nice though. Forward, back, out, and they're all hinges and swivels too. They're not ball joints, and that's pretty nice. Then you can bend this knee all around, and this knee all around, and then his foot can move, so it's quite easy to get him into a nice pose, because for his time, he has very good leg articulation. One other thing you can do is if you pull off his tail, he can hold it in his hand, although it, it pegs in rather than going into his hand there, so it's a nice weapon, although a little bit floppy because of the tolerances online, but that could probably be fixed with glue. And overall, it's actually quite a nice figure, quite charming. 
I like it quite a bit. Thank you for watching.